name is Dr. Ryan Dupiric. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with Holy Family Memorial. I specialize in arthroscopic and reconstructive surgery of the shoulder and knee. Today I will be talking to you a little bit about rotator cuff tears, including the causes and potential treatment options. The rotator cuff is a series of four muscles and tendons within the shoulder. Their primary function is to rotate and elevate the shoulder. Most often there is not a specific cause of a rotator cuff tear. As we age, our tendons lose vascularity or blood supply, and with that, the tendons become a little more weak. Most of us want to know exactly what the cause is of a tear or injury, but unfortunately in most patients, there's not a smoking gun. Some patients do have a trip or a fall or injure themselves while lifting something heavy, but for the most part, this is a chronic degenerative condition that can occur at any point after age 50. With respect to treatment options, we have many different pathways. For patients with very slight rotator cuff tears, we often consider things like physical therapy or anti-inflammatory medicines. Sometimes an injection would be considered. Many patients will be able to get symptomatic relief with non-surgical care for these small partial rotator cuff tears. In some patients, the initial injury is a traumatic event and they have a large full thickness rotator cuff tear. In young active patients, we typically do recommend surgery as the first line treatment for those. We also recommend surgery in patients who have failed non-surgical measures for less severe rotator cuff injuries. Surgery is generally going to be performed arthroscopically where we use a series of small puncture wounds to reconstruct the shoulder and repair the rotator cuff with the aid of an arthroscope or a small camera. Surgery takes about an hour and a half and we repair the rotator cuff back to the bone where it tore from. Uh, this is an outpatient surgery in the vast majority of cases. With respect to aftercare, patients use a sling for about six weeks. This allows the tendon to heal back to the bone properly. During that first six weeks, we do start with some home therapy exercises, but formal therapy generally will start at about six weeks after surgery. In most cases, patients can expect about a 95% likelihood of a good or excellent result after arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. My recommendation for any orthopedic condition is to search out an orthopedist with specialty training in a certain anatomic area. So if you have a rotator cuff tear, you would be best served by pursuing treatment with someone with specialty training or a fellowship in the shoulder. This would ensure that they have the greatest amount of experience in both simple and complex shoulder reconstructions and would give you the greatest likelihood of a good long-term outcome. 